I've been thinking about this video for quite a while. Uh, I just didn't get around to making it. Uh, today I finally made it. Um, it's about the kettlebell clean, the most basic exercise that any person that thinks about working with kettlebells should know. Why? Because everybody needs to lift a kettlebell up if you're working with kettlebells. The kettlebell clean basically means that you're bringing the kettlebell from a lower position into a racking position. Now you can do that with a dead clean, a hang clean, and a swing clean. Dead is when the weight is dead on the ground, not moving. Hang is when the weight is hanging, pulling it up. Swing is when the weight is swinging and you're cleaning it up. Racking position is here. This is where your bell rests or where it goes to pressing or any other exercise. So having a good rack is quite important. The kettlebell clean is the most basic exercise that you need to learn for kettlebell training. Because everybody needs to pick up a kettlebell, whether you're pressing, walking with it, or doing any other exercise, you will need to clean your kettlebell. So if you're a complete beginner, following is how you should learn your kettlebell clean. I'm going to start. Elbow locked out. Squat. Looking ahead. Chest out. Hips low. Shoulders remain up. Here's the difference. If my shoulders come low and not my hips, you're hip hinging. If you're just starting out, you're probably not proficient at the hip hinge yet, so you're better off with a squat. Squatting looks like this. Bottom position, hips low, breathe in, abs firm, elbow locked out, looking ahead, chest out. Squeeze the glutes, press the heels into the ground. Now I've lifted the kettlebell up. From here, I assist with the other hand. I end up here. Assist, hook grip, down to the ground. Squat. Hook grip, elbow locked out, chest packed, look ahead, lift, assist, turn, 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 insert. The insert is very important. This is where your hand ends up. Now it looks like this. Hook grip. Assist, turn, 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 rack and grip, loose, rack and grip. I'll show you one more time what happens. Assist, hook grip. This is how I pick the bell up. This is what happens at the top. I turn. I insert the hand. The bell's weight is resting here and here. This is where the weight is distributed. Tight elbow. I'll show you one more time. Assist. Hook grip. Elbow locked out. Knees pulled out. Chest out. Hips low, chest out, shoulders high, hook grip, press the heels into the ground, squeeze the glutes, I lifted the bell, I assist, a little bit of a curl here, shoulders up, come under, turn. 
turn. Proper grip. If you don't obtain the proper grip straight away, so let's say you end up here, don't worry. Grab the bell and just adjust. Punch in. Punch in. A great way to get this motion here is by placing the bell on the ground and working on the insert this motion here. So you can just place the bell on the ground, your thumb is here, index finger is here, the horn is resting on the webbing right here. This is where the horn is. So put the bell on the ground. If you're not getting this motion yet, work on the hand insert. Just get used to that. Do it 10 times on one side, 10 on the other. Get used to the hand insert. One more time. Hook grip. Squat. Lift. Assist. Turn. Corkscrew motion. Hand insert. Rack. From here, you can press. From here, you can squat. From here, you can swing. Next progression will be an assisted swing clean. But before you can start swing and clean, you will need to understand the kettlebell swing. Kettlebell swing is a hip hinge. Your spine stays neutral, arm comes through, let the bell come back out. Squeeze the glutes, press the heels into the ground, activating the hamstrings, stand up. That's the swing, hip hinge style. Now the next thing is the swing clean. I will show you what the swing clean looks like. And then I'll show you how you should actually progress to it. I'm just showing you what it looks like. Don't do it yet if you only just started. Here's your next progression with the other hand coming through, push through, again assist as you're coming up, corkscrew, push through, assist with the other hand. Slowly, you start using the hand less and less. Now I'm just going to use it on the up face. Here's what happens. Don't cast the bell out. Don't do that. It's too far out. You're not fishing. Let it drop. Push yourself away. Create hip extension. Up. So I'm guiding the bell up with the hand. This helps you because a lot of people, when they first start, they're out too far or too high with the kettlebell. 
and it starts to bang on the shoulder or the wrist. It looks like this. This is wrong. Too high, too far out. So use the other hand for guidance. Watch. Not only does it prevent the kettlebell from coming up too high, it also helps me to open up the hand, insert, and turn the bell around. This is what happens when you swing, the bell rises up, it floats, you open up your hand, you go from hook grip into racking grip, loose racking grip. Now if you're not sure about all the kettlebell grips, I've uh, written a book with over 25 kettlebell grips. You can download it for free on our website cavemantraining.com or if you like Kindle, you can download it on Amazon. I think it's $1.95 or something. It's worth the money. It's also got some information on kettlebell grips. So I'll look on Amazon.com. Just look up uh, my name, Taco Fleur, or search for caveman training, or search for kettlebell grips. Um, what's the next progression? The next progression is just the swing clean. other hand coming along it makes it more natural if you keep that hand static it's just you're staying upright you're not moving naturally use that other hand to come along with the bell push myself away let the bell drop turn change from from a racking grip into hook grip now push it back let the kettlebell come up, stand up, squeeze the glutes, press the heels into the ground, the kettlebell keeps coming up, I open up the hand, I insert, and rack. Key is to keep the elbow connected to the ribs. It might not be right here, depending on your body, it might be lower or higher. Key point is keep the elbow close on the up face. If you're not getting it, just use the other hand to assist. Keep it close to your body. Right here, you can't assist. It's too far out. It's not a swing. Well, it is a swing, but you're turning it into a clean. Difference is swing is here, clean is here. Swing, clean. Notice how far the kettlebell is out for the swing and how far it's out for the clean. Use the other hand to get used to how far it needs to be, plus how high it needs to go, plus the other hand helps to turn the bell around the, the, the fist. So a lot of times people will be having a tight grip and they'll let the bell go around the wrist and bang. I'll show you what that looks like. Not good. The bell goes around the fist. 
lots of friction on the inside of the hand, on the palm. Tight grip and you end up here. This is what's called a broken wrist position. Don't do it. This is where you need to end up. You need to open your hand, have a proper insert, good rack. Never the bell on the outside here, elbow on the inside, elbows on the outside, bell is in the middle, hand is near your chest, or if you're a female, it's out more, and then the bell is resting on your bicep and your forearm. Looks like this. Here or here. Cradle racking position, that's what it's called. And that's used for females, even for males. Sometimes you want to change up your racking position. It's also a good rack to press because you're going straight up. I'll show you. Less rotation required of the wrist. Okay, so you don't need to press and then rotate the wrist out. It's already there. That's why the cradle rack position is a good position for pressing. This is the cradle rack. Okay, but this is also a good position to rest. A lot of people want to start out with this and then move to this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to learn to get about clean. Please uh, share, like, and feel free to ask any questions below or on Facebook. Search for Caveman Training. Uh, we got about 21,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 6,000 likes on Facebook. Please follow us on Facebook. There's lots of things that, little videos that I submit there. Lots of kettlebell exercises, so I really recommend, especially for beginners and uh, even advanced exercises, I mix it up with what I post. So follow on Facebook, Caveman Training, or uh, our YouTube channel, subscribe. Also on Instagram, Real Caveman Training on Instagram. See you soon.